Our project here is to try to create an autonomous race car. Uh, in fact, an autonomous rally car. So a car that can drive itself around a dirt track or a paved track, really up to the limits of what is physically possible. So race car drivers are extremely good at using all of the available friction between the tire and the road to drive as fast as possible. And what we want to do is to develop safety systems that can use all of that friction to help you get around the corner or avoid a spin or any other situation that you might get yourself into. The car is very close to a stock Audi TTS. So the Audi has electric power steering. So we're tapping into the motor, the electric motor that normally assists the driver. And we're using it to turn the wheels by itself. It also has an electronic throttle and electronic brakes that we're tapping into uh, to be able to have the vehicle accelerate or decelerate uh, the way we want it to. On top of that, we've added some GPS antennas, which tell us where the car is and what direction it's pointing. And we also have some accelerometers and gyroscopes that tell us how fast we're going, how fast we're turning. There's a small computer in the trunk uh, that controls all of this. We have a laptop that we can use to, to change the program on that control computer. So what we do is we combine all of these things. We take in the sensor measurements, figure out what we want the car to do, and then tell the steering, the brakes, and the engine uh, to do what we need to do in order to get the car to move in the proper way. Pikes Peak has, has been uh, a major challenge since 1916. But we think it's really a great test for our autonomous rally car to see can we make it up uh, quickly? Can we go up at race speeds? And, and can we avoid the nearly 10,000 foot drops uh, that exist if you're too far off at the side of the road? So we are planning on going up Pikes Peak without anybody in the car. Right now, when we're in the field, it's safer to have a safety driver in the car. But when we're going up Pikes Peak for the safety of the testers, it's safer to not have anybody in the car. And so we have to develop the systems to enable us to go up without. So right now, the driver that is in the car is just there to make sure that things are going OK and has his hands off the wheel. He puts the button to start the test, and then he'll push the button to stop the test. But they don't interfere with the driving at all. The first DARPA project with Stanley was just to see if autonomous cars could even happen. Could you get from point A to point B in the desert, avoiding some obstacles on the road? The second DARPA project with Junior was could you navigate through a simulated city, obeying the traffic laws, and being able to park, pull up to stoplights, make left turns, merge, all of those things. Now, with the latest car, the project is can you really control the car at higher speeds? So the previous vehicles were going 25, 40 miles an hour. This car is going 40, 130 miles an hour. So we really have to know how to drive the car a little bit better.